Hello, my name is Alicia Jamal and I'm one of the pediatricians at Trillium Health Partners. I wanted to talk to you today about dehydration. Lots of parents get very worried about hydration. There's lots and lots of reasons why children don't drink when they're sick. Sometimes they can have a stuffy nose, which can make it hard to drink, or they might have some sores in their mouth from a viral illness, and that can make it really painful to drink. Or often they may have gastroenteritis where we see vomiting and diarrhea and they can get dehydrated. So what are the signs and symptoms that you should look out for? In babies, you might see that the flat spot in their head is a little bit sunken. When they cry, they might not make a lot of tears, or you might notice that there's not a lot of saliva in their mouth. The best ways to assess for hydration is to watch the wet diapers. If you notice that your baby's not peeing very much, doesn't have a wet diaper for eight to 12 hours, those are signs and symptoms of dehydration. And in older children, similar signs and symptoms, except often they just won't be urinating as much. So what are the things that you can do at home to manage dehydration? There are lots and lots of things. If your baby is breastfeeding, you can continue to breastfeed. You may find that your baby will take smaller amounts more often. Same with formula feeding. In older children, you might wanna use half dilute fruit juices or um, things like Pedialyte. Those can be helpful. Often when children are not feeling well, they may wanna drink small volumes. So you can do that using a syringe or even via a spoon. The reasons to come to the emergency department is if your child is vomiting so much that they're not keeping anything down, if they're not urinating for eight to 12 hours, if they're very sleepy or difficult to wake up, those would be reasons to get assessed in the emergency department.